This is a plastic skull. It demonstrates the various osteotomies that are available to cut the bones of the face and reposition them. So for now, we're going to talk about the chin. So if you look at the front here, there's a way that you can go in through the mouth and you can cut this bone off right here. And then you can move this piece of bone forward to advance the chin. It does require small screws or little wires to hold it in place once it's been done. But with this type of cut, you can also correct a crooked chin. You can take a wedge out and rotate it. You can make the chin longer by moving it down and putting bone grafts or other material in here. You can also twist it. You could shorten the chin by making two parallel cuts and you would take out the middle piece, like taking the meat out of a sandwich, and then you could shorten the entire chin complex vertically. So this is called a sliding genioplastic because it slides forward just like that, but then you have to fixate it to have it be solid, otherwise it'd be wiggling around. The blood supply to this comes from muscles underneath here that attach on the back. So when you slide it forward, it can actually improve the neck profile somewhat. Some people feel it may improve sleep apnea because it can tighten things up underneath here and open the airway.